Hello guys, Sajid is here with a new video and in this video we will build mobile and web application by using Vue.js, Ionic and Capacitor. So let's start the video. Our first step is to install the Vue.js CLI. The command is npm install at vue slash CLI. The installation may take some time, so I pause the video. As you can see, the CLI is installed, and if I run a command view minus v, it should return the version of the CLI. So the version is 3.11.0. Our next step is to create the view CLI project. My project name is view on cap dash app view ionic capacitor app uh, the view CLI is asking about the preset I select default now creating project may take some time I pause the video again As you can see, the project is created. Now I change my directory to view dash on dash cap dash app. This is my project directory, and now I run a command npm run serve to run my project. Starting development server. It may take some some time again i pause the video our application is up and running on port 8080 so this is the url of our application and this is the default home page our next step is to install ionic and con configure it with vue.js I first install Ionic. I close the development server and install Ionic. I am installing two dependencies Ionic slash core, Ionic slash view. The Ionic dependencies are installed. Now I also need to install view router for navigation for navigation from one page to another. The view router is also installed. Now I open my project in VS Code. I import Ionic to my project. I click on SRC folder main.t main.js and I import the Ionic in, in my main.js file. Now the Ionic is accessible in all our in all our components. If I update my my app dot view component with some ionic code, 
it should work now I run the project again here as you can see I'm using ionic and this is my uh, app dot view component my project my development server is running but I am seeing one warning in my terminal and my project is also sh and my project is showing blank page here we have also one error in the console in order this dependency will resolve this error so I install it I close the development server and install it copy it again and paste it here the dependency is installed let's run our server again Our application is running on port 8080 and if I refresh the page now now Ionic and Vue.js are working this is my code and this is the output Our last step is to install capacitor and build our mobile application. This is the command to install capacitor. I close my server. Sorry. Wait. Next is next initialize capacitor with your app information by running this command. App name my app name is app and uh, my app package ID is com.example.app and now our next step is to add the the platform so I run this command capacitor could not found the web asset directory so before adding before adding the platform we need to build our project npm run build Our, our application is is built to this directory our application is built to this directory and uh, we should tell to and this is the the configuration file of capacitor we should tell to capacitor that our our build directory is dist not www now we can add the platform npx cap add and write
Next, use the copy command of the capacitor CLI to copy the BIP asset to the Netio project. Finally, you can open your Netio, Netio project and write, in our case, in the Netio ID and write studio in our case using the open command of the, of the capacitor CLI. Our project is open in Android Studio and now I run my project in, in Simulator. It will take some time so I pause the video. So this is our project up and running in Chrome and this is our project up and running in Android simulator. My computer is hanged. I should do something. So this is my project in Google Chrome and this is my project in Android Simulator uh, and the next so this is the end of this video and in the next video I will show you how to access the how to use the capacitor APIs. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.